All right, guys, welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. We are here today with Mr. Etho. How's it going, Etho? Good, good. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Um, so, Etho, I was, uh, I was thinking, you know what we haven't seen a lot of on this, this Hermit Pack server yet so far this season? Mm, pranking? Pranking. <laughs> Yep, uh -huh. yep. I thought you were just the man to call for some uh, some some pranking action, so oh, I think I'm all for it. I think we have some type of idea of what we might want to try. Uh, I think we're gonna try out a couple of things here. We might we might have to you know do a couple of different ideas here because pranking on on modded is a little bit different than than regular pranking, right? You can get very carried away on it, which which is fun. That's true. That's true. We wanna we wanna see if we can prank maybe maybe Azuma. I think is what we agreed upon. Yeah, right. let's get Azuma. Okay, we'll get we'll get Azuma. First thing I think we're gonna try out today. I think we're gonna try out something called the Player Probe, from Actually Editions. Mm -hmm. Apparently, this thing can like access players' inventories. And so, then we might be able to force some items into somebody's inventory. Could be fun. Maybe, yeah. I don't know if you've seen this yet, but over here I have a bunch of, like, toast sandwiches. We got, had, to, had to make quantum <laughs> storage for toast sandwiches right here. Like, how, how many do you have? We have 11,000. 11,000 11, <laughs> toast sandwiches. Yeah, fully yeah. automated, fully, yeah, it just keeps on producing them. It's just... You, you could feed not... the server for years. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I think it's more fun to prank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to make this player probe here in this, uh... Wait a minute, do you only have three deaths in total? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Only three? Only three, I think. I find that hard to believe. Yeah, man, I'm, it's, I'm, a, I'm a pro, man, I'm a pro. <laughs> I died more times from glitches alone. <laughs> oh, really, really? Uh-huh. I see, Like I you, see. Like you come online and you just die because it starts lagging or something like that. I gotcha, so I got this player probe. Yeah, that ha happens quite a bit. It's like Torturino causes issues, stuff like that. But I'm gonna see with how this works. All right, so I think we right click on the player. Oh, oh nope, my bad. <laughs> oh no, it's it's probing Etho right now. That's what it says. Oh, yeah, it did get me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's see. Do we shift right click? Probing Etho. Are you getting any message on your end? No messages. That might save uh, save memory of me. Like. For a long time, though, right? You think that's, that's true? Yeah. It might not just be a one-time use thing. Yeah, yeah. So I wonder if we have to do something else with this here. I'll, I'll uh, I want to. So I think you, I think you got to right-click on that interface with it then, the player interface. Oh, the player interface. So we need that too then. Yeah, so and then need... it sets it to whoever whoever you. Uh, oh, okay. So this might so, work. So if we did that to Azuma, if it's more than a one-time use thing, we could probably. Get it to work if he could come online at some point. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, let's test it out. Let's actually get this player interface here real quick, and uh, we'll test it out and see if that actually is what happens. Yeah. Okay, Etho. We got the player interface from Action Editions. Now I'm gonna place this down here. Nice. Okay. Down to to Cub Fan. Yeah. Bound oh, it tells to me. you your UUID too. Oh, don't look! Don't look! Don't look! <laughs> so I wonder. <laughs> I, Does that matter? It might. Maybe. Quick, quick, take your screenshots, and, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I, th I think a couple of letters are cut off anyway, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Um, so, I wonder if we can change this somehow? If you, if you break it, can you break that and place it down? It'll be bound to you then, right? Should. Yeah, it says bound to Etho bound now. Bound to Etho, okay. I wonder if I can somehow, like, probe this. Doesn't look like it. I can probe. Well, that, that's set to me, right? Yeah, that's set to you. So uh, I guess you, you place it, and then you probe me. <laughs> yeah, let's. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. <laughs> okay, All set right. the cup fan. Oh, I can change yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So that's how you change it. Okay, and then if we have that's like a, if we have an interface next to that, will that then like put stuff in your inventory or something? Let's see it if I got. It should. Let me get a chest out. Or even a hopper or anything like that will will do it. Do you think we can we put a chest beside it and then let me I'm gonna pass you some Try diamonds. Out. Diamond in there, diamond block. Nope. Nope. We may have to look at the uh, the manual here. <laughs> here, let's use a let's use a cable instead. Oh, by inputting items, yeah. So let's use yeah. a. You got an item counter with there? Yeah, nice. Set that to insert. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I got it. Did you? All right, nice, nice. Okay, so that works. It's very fast too, actually. Like almost instant. Now how, we gotta test the range too. So let me. Okay. Yeah, let me. Yeah, give me the down block. I think the range is like pretty small, but you can make like extenders too. Was it thirty-two blocks? I think so. Yeah. Thirty-two oh. blocks. <laughs> okay. Is it is the diamond in there? It's set to extract here. It's not extracting for some reason though. Because <laughs> uh, I'm far away, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move closer, and it should give it to me once I get close enough. I... Okay. Still haven't got it. Still haven't got it. Oh, it went through. Oh, I just got it. Okay. okay. So I was like right we? at the right at the entrance of your base, pretty much. It's not that far. Okay. Yeah. So I think it. Yeah, we definitely would need like something to extend the range on this. I would say. Mm -hmm. Which I think there are like range extenders, but that might work though. That might work as a, as a prank of some type. Let's try. A, I'm just curious if you can take stuff out too. Mhm. Mm yeah. Trying to extract it from there. <laughs> yeah. Extract your whole inventory. Yeah, you gotta change this. <laughs> Sounds like a bad idea, but I'm just curious. <laughs> it's gonna empty your whole inventory. <laughs> that was oh yeah, plan there it goes. There oh, it goes. nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cool. Make it stop. Make it stop. <laughs> now I just got to get a uh, trash can underneath there, and then we'll be set. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. So this this could be this could be really useful. I'm I'm liking this now. Uh, I would just even if to... we even if we can't get it to use it for a break, just using it for myself, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you could put like an item filter on there too, and be useful for filtering out certain items like cobblestone Let, or dirt or something. Yeah. Let's uh let's also try the mechanical user on it, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think Cuz I I can break this by pressing shift at any time. Can you? Yeah. Oh, okay, and then it goes to Then it is st still says bounty, but I don't think it works anymore. Yeah, I think I'm not probing you anymore. Yeah, I'm not probing you with the actual probe anymore, but this interface is still bound oh, you to you. Oh, it's still set? Yeah, I think it is. I'm pretty, okay. I'm pretty certain. So this, yeah, this might work. So if I, if I click you, uh -huh. probe, probe beneath the, now go ahead and shift. Yeah, yeah now it's, it. yeah, it's broken. I see. Uh, so we just, we just have to like ninja probe somebody. <laughs> it sounds weird, okay. but yeah. So once it's set though, it's good. Once it's set, it's good. And then we just need like a range extender or something to... To do the okay. prank. Okay. <laughs> so we could pipe in anything, basically. We could pipe in toast or dirt or cobblestone. <laughs> Pretty much anything. We just need Azuma to come online now. We just need Azuma or, yeah, somebody else. We could or somebody else. Or, yeah. 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 <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Um, well, you want to try the mechanical user as well? I got... Well, I, I guess if it keeps it set, that's fine then. Yeah, I don't think that should make too much of a difference, but... Sweet. So, let's see if we get the range extender. We'll test the range on it and see how far it goes. Sure. Yep, okay, so got the boosters. We're going to put them right back on top of it. Boom. Okay, does that use any power? I'm guessing it uses a lot more power. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, we'll put all three of them on this, right now. <laughs> this thing doesn't necessarily be use power. The power is to charge, like, a jetpack if you have it. Like... Yeah, yep. So, we got we got all that up. Uh, let's, I'm going to put a diamond in here. Make sure you get yeah, that. Yeah, I got that. Okay, and then... I'll go leave the area again. Okay. And just a second. Alright, maybe maybe try it now. Alright, put in a, uh, diamatine crystal. Oh, there oh it yeah, went. got it already. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll go farther back. Okay. I'm far already. I'm surprised that worked. Okay, try again. Alright. Redstonia crystal coming in. Got it. Sweet. How far away are you approximately? Uh at least a hundred blocks I would say. Nice, yeah, I can't even see on my map anymore. Okay. Alright, again, here comes another redstonia. Still got it. Yes. Still got it. Wow. <laughs> this is good, yeah. That's uh that's some incredible range. Very nice. Alright, ready? Yeah. Okay, here comes another one. Yeah. Still got it. Man, this is All awesome. right, I'm I'm at least like 300 blocks away. 
So <laughs> All right. I'm coming back. <laughs> I think this will work well then, man. I think this will work really well. Yeah. All right. Yeah, now we just have to figure out a place to like set it up and stuff and how to get toast to the chest and <laughs> I'm digging this, man. This is awesome. What do you what do you got on your head? <laughs> you got the, a monocle? Thing? Oh man, that is <laughs> I classy. Got a that is and, uh, classy. I have giant emeralds. Giant emeralds. Does that do anything? Anything suspicious? Uh, nothing you got to worry about. Okay, okay. I see. A little ninja emerald up there. I see. Mm -hmm. All right, so, uh, yeah, we need to set up a Enderlink chest, I think. So this is going to be going... I think we can just set this... Probably on this. Right. Yeah, right there. And that should then... Once we set this to insert, yeah. Okay. Extracting. Good. Toast is going in. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, I might want to link this in case somebody tries to steal stuff. So I'm going <laughs> to lock it. There we go. Are you worried about your precious toast? Oh, actually, hold on. This might... I don't know if this is actually linked to the other one. This might be linked to the other one. I may need to dye this. <laughs> I may need to dye this here. There we go. So oh, yeah. I be... see the toast here. Yep, so now it shouldn't be. It should be all emptying out of there, I think. Uh, yeah, it's going down. Okay, good. So I, I changed the color of it, so now it's linked just to the light blue ender chest. So that's good. Fantastic. So now we got to go out to, I guess, Asuma's base? Or who do we want to prank here? We only got Impulse online. Just Impulse is online. Hmm. We could set it up so that, you know, we're ready to go with the player pro once, you know, mm -hmm. it's somebody does, does come online. Yeah, if we want to target Azuma, we could set it up at his base already. Okay, okay. And then just wait for him to come online and and up, and then it should be good. Okay, yeah. Let's let's do that. Let's let's target let's target Asuma. I got a quick I teleporter. Think, I over think here. when you probed me, it didn't give me any messages either. So yeah. So if I should be able to sneaky do it. Did you get anything there? Nope. Okay, fantastic. Nope. So nope it doesn't blue. doesn't notify. Nice. Ah ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just teleport over to Asuma's base. Dial once. Actually, you can go ahead and go through first. Okay. There you go. The world move. Congrats. <laughs> All right, I'll come right behind you. Now Man, he has, you really expanded this place. It's looking nice. I gotta say, I like I like yeah. the color scheme. Yeah, it's good colors. Very nice. Yeah. So let's see. He has some claimed chunks here, so we have to go outside he of those. Can't place anything. No, can't place anything here. Yeah, I can't break anything either. There. So let's see. I think maybe outside here somewhere is a good spot for it. He claimed a big area here. <laughs> he did. Yeah. Luckily, the boosters mm. are pretty, pretty, pretty hefty. Yeah. I think it'll reach. Far. Okay. Let's see. Anywhere in here. Oh, over here. This is wilderness here. Yeah. All right. So right here, you think that's? I think that's pretty close. Close enough. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. This is the divider here, so we want to go this way. Okay. All right. So. So what do you think about like down here? Maybe would be a good spot. Like dig into the ground here. Hide it under here. here. Yeah. Hide it under here. Yeah. Okay. I think a little spot here. Let's see what we can come up with. It doesn't have to be too big, I don't think. No, this is actually a pretty simple thing to do. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Ouch. I didn't secretly access your under chest there or anything. Trust me. Uh-huh. <laughs> right, I think this is this is a good spot. <laughs> You're just double checking? I see how it is. I see how I it wish is. you had something in yours. <laughs> Have you gotten anybody yet with that? No. I see, I see. Alright, let's see here. Um, yeah, I think this is probably big enough. Alright. So, first thing we're, we're going to need is the ender chest down, probably. Yep, yep. so ender link chest. A lot and then conduits. Alright, so let's see if this... Oh yeah, yeah. toast is flowing. <laughs> nice. Nice. Right, Conduit so... into just the player interface, right? I think so, yeah. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Simple. Yep. Okay, and the phantom boosters on that. Phantom boosters going down. There we go. Sweet. Oh, I'm getting. 
<laughs> I'm pranked. <laughs> yeah. I have successfully pranked myself. <laughs> here we, here we, just do that. We go. There we go. There we go. Have some toast, Etho. Have some toast. No. <laughs> No, actually, I do want toast. <laughs> All right, nice, nice. This can actually be somewhat useful if you if you if you want to make like a farm out of it. I think yeah. Bot I actually, actually have a ore generation that works off of food. So oh, they, oh, I see how it is. This is. No, a, I don't mind getting a, a free <laughs> toast here. This is sweet. All right, all right. So that's pretty much it then, right? I think that's it. I think that's it. We might want to torch up the area a little bit and maybe cover this up, but that's that's pretty much all there is. <laughs> I think we might be able to disable this with a redstone torch. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. So, you're not pranking me. <laughs> <laughs> Make yeah. it stop. Nope. Maybe beside it? Well, that one. Mm. We could use a phantom redstone face with the player detector. So it turns it off or on when somebody comes online. I think you'd just have to do it by the cable here, probably. Oh, so yeah. I'll shut it off right now. Yeah, yep. I can just cool. manually reset it. So when Azuma comes on, you gotta probe him. Yep. Probe him and gentle, then. And just... then right click in the, on the interface and should be good. Alright. Sweet, man. <laughs> and let's uh, let's bury this too a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on one second. I'm gonna put a uh, waypoint down here as well with my uh, book. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good uh, idea. Let's see here. I think it's in this one. Yeah. So much, so much stuff in the inventory. Yeah, I'll put uh, that down there. There we go. Awesome. Swink. All right, Etho. Sweet. Thanks, Sweet. dude. <laughs> no problem. Appreciate you helping me out with this prank, dude. Very, I thought it was going to be a lot more complex, and I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but uh turned out to be pretty straightforward, actually. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, dude. Appreciate it. No problem. Hopefully we get the guy. <laughs> hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. He'll, he should log on. I think he'll probably be on maybe in a couple of hours. He usually comes on like really early our time. but <laughs> I, I see him pretty much every day on here. So. I see. I see. Like wh when I come on. so. If you come on, active. yeah. Hit him Hit him with the player pro, man. I, we should get you one as well just in case. <laughs> yeah. All right, dude. Well, take care. Thanks again, and uh, we'll, we'll catch you later. See you, man. All right, guys, so we are now playing the waiting game, waiting for Asuma to come on because we need to actually probe Asuma to get this prank started. And once we probe him, all we have to do is link up the player probe here I'm holding in my hand to the player interface we set down, and that should initiate the toasting of Asuma, <laughs> basically. Uh, so, Asuma, you've been toasted. I just got to wait for him to log on. And I think we also probably will want something like a invisibility potion or something like that. Let's actually check and see what we have in here in terms of invisibility. Uh, we have, of course, the, the default potions. Splash potion, lingering potion. Ooh, ring of invisibility. That that might be useful. That would mean we wouldn't have a limited amount of time to find Suma. Like with this, we'd only have about eight minutes to find him. But this one might last a little longer. Invisibility cloak? What? How do you make this? Mana pearl. Ender pearl into a mana pool gives you mana pearl. Hold up. Prismarine, mana glass. Glass. That's pretty cheap, actually. Wow. Maybe we make this invisibility cloak. Holy mackerel. That's crazy. Also, this the ring of invisibility might be pretty good. You just need an ender star. We have most of that except for the nether star, I think. And the ring of invisibility, which is fairly straightforward to make, I think. Yeah, pretty straightforward. So, yeah, I say we try for this advanced ring of invisibility. I think this can actually be uh, used in our inventory to make us invisible, which will make it easier to probe Asuma. So, I'm going to go ahead and make that real quick here, guys. Uh, I need to get an Ender Star, I think. Or not an Ender Star, another star. Yeah, one of these. Do I have this stuff in here? Maybe I have another star. Nope, no nether star. So, I need to get another star. I need to fight the Wither real quick. And then we will make that ring, and then wait for Asuma to log on. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so the wait is now over. Mr. Asuma has finally logged on, along with a bunch of other people. And we also have our invisibility, advanced ring invisibility. You see, if I take this out of my inventory here, I appear. If I put it in the inventory, I disappear. Now, the only question is, does this also cause me to disappear... Does this also cause me to disappear on the mini-map? I'm actually going to go test that right now. I'm going to teleport to... 
Let's say false. She's on the server right now. So we will see. False symmetry is within range. Very nice. And we will see if she can spot us. That will that will let us know. This might be some exclusive previews of false symmetry, but it does not look like she can actually see me. I think she probably would have said something right now. She's fighting some witches, trying to set up some type of witch farm here, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> looks like she's having a bit of an issue. Perhaps. She'll figure it out, though. She'll figure it out. Oh, okay, we better stand back. We got no armor. Doesn't look like she can see me. Let's see. We're gonna stand right in front of her. Nope, does not look like it. And either either she's not paying attention to the mini map or she just can't see me on the mini map. That's good. Okay, so let's go to Etho's base. We will launch from here. Uh, here's Ethos base, by the way. He's made some nice chisel and bits, chairs and tables and such. And he has some other, some basic stuff around here. Um, so let's find Isuma. I think his base... Let's take a look here. I think his base is down here. So we are going in the correct direction. So here we go, guys. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Look, 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 look. Look who's there. It's Isuma. All right, we got to be very stealthy about this, guys. I don't think he can actually see me. Here we go, here we go. We're going in. Okay, he's going into a thing. Let's hit him. We got him. Okay. Gotta get out now. Gotta get out. Alright, we're gonna go to the X prank. There we go. Bound to Asuma. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, so. Prank is now set. This is now sound <laughs> bound to Asuma. Uh, we should still be invisible. And we can now set this to active once we set this with active <laughs> without signal it should start to flow so here we go active without signal there goes our toast nice all right now let's get out of here let's go back to spawn and we just wait now <laughs> we just wait now for x to notice essentially oh man that's great oh that's awesome i love it <laughs> You've been toasted, Isuma. <laughs> I wonder how long it's going to take him to notice. Probably not too long. Alright guys, we got him. Isuma is <laughs> saying, My inventory is filling up with toast. And I said, You've been toasted. When will I not be toasted? And I told him it could be a while. He's got a couple thousand more toast to come. Basically. Yeah. 7,600 more toast to go. It's pumping toast into his inventory like crazy. <laughs> the funny thing is it's just going to keep on pumping it in. Like, it's never going to stop, basically. <laughs> so anytime he's at his base, it's just going to keep pumping toast into his inventory. Oh, he's here! <laughs> Isuma is actually here. He's wondering why... <laughs> <He's> <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. He's wondering why, why all the toast. <laughs> so guys, Asuma has been toasted, completely roasted, and he's wondering where <laughs> where everything is. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is awesome. He's wondering like where where <laughs> where the, where the toast is coming from. You know what I'm wondering, guys. So Asuma's going back to his base. He's the toast is going to start flowing once again, I believe. Let's see. Is he? Yep, it's still flowing. <laughs> So just to recap what happened, Isuma came through here, he was looking for either how to disable this and how to uh, return the toast. He actually did return the toast, which I greatly appreciate, thank you Isuma. Returned the toast here, went back to his own base, and subsequently got his inventory filled with toast once again. So, I think we got him guys, I think we got him. So Isuma, you have been toasted my friend, enjoy the food, you now have unlimited food for life. Uh, until I, I assume he sees this video and then disables everything. But, uh, yeah, once again, I want to say thanks to Etho for helping me out here. Let me just put on my armor here for this last bit. There we go. And I think we'll also put this in our inventory. I don't think that keeps us invisible. No, it doesn't. Sweet. So, yeah, player probe and player interface is definitely a really cool block, guys. And I think next time we'll work more on the Sith stuff. Thank you, everybody who left some comments on how to improve that. 
Uh, definitely gonna be doing some stuff on that in the future. And also, I want to improve the base entrance down here. Maybe like a vault door or something. That would be really cool. So anyways, guys, that's gonna be all for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.